All right, this week we're getting RAF and RAF only. You might be like, what? What do you mean RAF and RAF only? Well, it's because we've been getting hit with a barrage of stuff lately, but this week we're only getting RAF. It's the only thing you're gonna have to worry about pulling if you're a collector that wants to pull everything, or if you were like, afraid we were gonna get RAF and Summer Glaciella at the same time or something like that, or who knows? Like, we're getting so much stuff crunched together. Um, but yeah, so we only have to worry about RAF this week. No vision card, nothing, just RAF as far as I know. So far, that's been in the notices. But this is one thing that was not in the notices, at least this week, um, that I wanted to point out to you guys. This is the arena ranking rewards. Now you'll notice that these rewards have been actually updated. Um, so top 5,000 and below, unfortunately still looks like that's the same. But top 1,000 and up has been updated. I don't personally know what the like top 10 rewards were or maybe even the top 100 but i know for sure that the top 1000 rewards used to only be 800 because i always aim for top 1000 and this week i got a thousand viz and i was like huh interesting so that being said yeah they actually updated these it's nothing major but it's definitely something nice that i think flew under the like radar uh I don't, I don't know how much like 100 to 51 or 50 to 11 went up because uh, I never went for those really. I mean, I've been top 50 once and I've been top 100 maybe that same time. But either way, this did get updated a little bit. So there's a little more viz you can get weekly from this if you're the type of person to push to at least the top 1000. Um, but yeah. Vespo pointed that one out, so that's pretty cool. I had no idea this was a thing until this week, and yeah, uh, I don't know. But anyways, I figured I would point that out, because I bet you a lot of you guys didn't notice that either. Anyways, the new unit is Raph. Raph is a 100 cost dark unit. We all know who Raph is, let's be honest. Raph, if you've been, unless you've been living under a rock, Raph is the new hotness, one of the most worthwhile units to pull, um, at least according to a lot of people probably of the year or at least you know recent times or whatever but that being said she's a warrior of the crystal she is the last warrior of the crystal i know a lot of us are tapped out on vizior i unfortunately because i just had to pity ferris um i have nothing so i'll do like a 300k 300 paid ticket and whatever the case may be there Maybe a Mindsphere pull. I still don't have Sildra though, and I really want Sildra, and I know that's going to be harder to get in the future than Raph probably. Even though Raph is probably miles more useful than most of the other stuff. Now, uh, Raph's vision card is also the demon, the greater demon, is also on here, but this isn't until August 9th. So that is. Where does it say the date? Yeah, August 9th. So that's next week, so we don't have to worry about this right now. Now that means what's coming out next week, who knows, next week maybe we'll get summer, maybe we'll get a whole smorgasbord of things, I don't know. But uh, this whole like crunch that we're in is so stressful. You know, I'm excited for when the worldwide version is set and we're good to go and we're back on like a normal rotation, but just the road getting there is very stressful and I know like I know I shouldn't let the game stress me out and I know a lot of other people shouldn't and a lot of us do anyways it's really stressful but I guess that's just how it be anyways yeah so we got Raf she's coming out this week so that's that um let's get a, let me go over some of the other stuff there are oh well first of all let me point this out road to worldwide version part two I'm sure everyone's already seen this. It's been all over Reddit, all over Discords. During the period, RAF unit shards are guaranteed to appear in the shop if you own RAF. So basically, this is like a celebration for people that pull and get, or people that just get crazy lucky. Um, but yeah, so there are going to be two RAF tickets on day two and two RAF tickets on day three. So that's pretty cool, right? At least you'll have four chances. Um, you know, on top of maybe like a 300 paid ticket, maybe a Mind Sphere pull or whatever other. The thing with Dark uh, Warrior of the Crystal units, rather, you have to keep in mind, they don't usually... Now, obviously, in this crunch time, things have been weird and things have been whack and anything could change, but they don't usually have nine steps. Or do they? 
They definitely don't usually have a pity bar. I think you have to coin pity them. And they only last, their banners are only up for one week. So you're not going to have like two weeks to sleep on this unit. It's only going to be available for one week. Basically the same amount of time as this. So the Warriors of the Crystal are pretty wild. They might have nine steps actually. I don't know. But they definitely don't have pity bars, I don't think. It's crazy. I know that they're usually lacking tons of banners and end options compared to normal units. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. And hopefully we see some good banners available, though. I don't know. But, yeah, that's that's the crazy. Uh, Warriors of the Crystal can be... They're not, like, quite Dark Esper level of pulling. They are all 100 cost, though. But Dark Espers are a whole different ballgame. They only have, like, their step up. Those are really hard to pull. Luckily, there's no Dark Esper to worry about this week. But, uh, so... The, the Raph's weapons coming out, all that good stuff. But here's another really cool thing that's coming out this week. And then I was Balo. So there's a player named Balo, spelled B-A-Y-L-O-W. Nowsville? I'm guessing this is fictional. But anyways, this, uh, this entire event looks super fun. I'm actually really excited for this. I love stuff like this. I love stuff like this. This is the kind of thing that, like... I appreciate the most in this game. Lucio missions, I love them. Slime missions, I love them. Um, and I just really like stuff like this, and I'll show you why. Because basically it's going to be missions that you're going to be able to do as Balo. But it's don't fret if you don't have Balo or your Balo is like level 10. Because there's going to be a free summon to get a level 99 Balo if you don't have him already or you don't have him leveled up. And... It says it will give you stuff that all the stuff you'll need to enhance all of his jobs, right? Awesome. He does say, I'll be personally offended if you use them on someone else before me. So make sure you use the items you get on this pull for Balo. You don't have to, I guess. Technically, you can probably use them on whoever. But he'll be personally offended, so use them on Balo. Um, and then there's other missions here. They're going to give you stuff. Um, there's going to be a mission in here that gives you a mother load of JP that you can run Balo through. It says you can't use Obelites on this mission, but you know what? It sounds like it's gonna be so much JP that it won't even matter. You don't even need to use Obelites, I'm guessing. Um, there's gonna be challenge missions. You're gonna be able to unlock, clear all the challenge missions to get commemorative equipment item, Balo's smartphone. So we're gonna get this fictional player called Balo, uh, his smartphone for Balo. Well, it's, it, I don't know if only Balo can equip it though. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It sounds like uh, it's going to awaken Balo also to level 140. I mean, his transcendence is going to be available this week is what I'm trying to say. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Complete the... And, and then it was Damn Cold event and earn tons of JP. This is probably that one that it was saying Ovalite's not available for. But anyways, there's going to be a ton of Balo missions. And I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I'll do this stuff on... Uh, stream as best I can as long as there's no lockouts and stuff and I think it'll be really fun I'll do that on Wednesday and yeah looking forward to it I love these kind of things so in all this darkness of this crunch of the worldwide edition we have something kind of fun coming at us and something cool to look forward to I like the sound of this quite a bit looking forward to it um, there's gonna be a new season of guild battle and arena map updates which are going to dark, uh, buff dark unit stuff, and I think water unit for arena, water and dark. Uh, and yeah, the transcendents for this week are just Raph and Balo. So that's pretty much it. We're getting a ton of cool Balo stuff. We're getting Raph. Arena wards have been buffed. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Listen, this crunch time is so stressful. And it can be like discouraging even to just be around i know a lot of the communities are super down on it i've had people like that i've never even met before talking smack about me on reddit saying that i'm a shill it's not true i don't even know these people that are saying this kind of stuff it's not true like i'm disappointed just like everybody else just because i don't make videos like complaining about it non-stop i don't make those kind of videos man i usually just upload like the news and my polls because most of my talking is done on twitch so come to my twitch stream I'm always talking about this game too, even if I'm playing like Elden Ring or some other game, you can find the topic of War of the Visions going on in that channel. Um, and I'm always willing to, so yeah. 
Anyways, guys, good luck in your Wrath pulls. I know a lot of people are going to be pulling for a lot Wrath, and I know a lot of people have been pumped for Wrath and looking forward to Wrath and excited for Wrath. So uh, good luck there. Hopefully everyone can get lucky. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys. Um, uh, stop by my stream on Wednesday morning slash afternoon, and I'll be playing War of the Visions, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video or whenever you come around. Anyways, have a good one. Goodbye, farewell, see you later, sayonara, bye, see ya, blah, 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 blah.